and the next second it was gone absolutely brilliant I can't anybody else feel like there's like one ovary that's like the bad ovary hi guys my name is Michelle and I create hair makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube today I'm doing a chatty get ready with me so if you want to see how I created this makeup and you want to know what's been up with me then keep watching Oh my goodness, let's play. I'm so excited. All right, so primer is down. I've color corrected a little bit with a darker concealer. As you can see, to prime my eyes, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige. So I put a darker concealer on my lid and here PCOS has decided to bless me again with some pimples. I swear it's like every alternate month I'll break out on my cheek. Anybody else feel like there's like one ovary that's like the bad ovary? Maybe I'm talking absolute rubbish. But any medical students watching, let me know. Is that like a thing? So yep, I've primed my lids and as you can see, I'm going pretty heavy with the primer, which is basically concealer. And I like to use a shade that is much lighter. That way the colors really pop on my lids. I'll set with the Laura Mercier. It's been a while since I played with some makeup, like really, really played and I'm so excited. So I'm taking the Blood Sugar Palette and the pack 201. This is what the brush looks like. I'm dipping into Coma, which is right here. I'm thinking of a halo shape today. So I'm just going to start with this halo shape. Slightly blending around the edges and applying windshield wiper and stippling motions. Oh man, it's been a while since I really, really did my makeup. I mean, yeah, I've been wearing makeup, but I haven't been doing like full on makeup and I don't enjoy neutral makeup that much. It doesn't excite me when I'm painting. I want to take my time, spend hours doing my entire face, focusing on my eyes. So yeah, I've really missed that. Whenever I do like a halo eye, right, I always think about the first color that I'm putting down and it's always the second last deepest color in the palette. So if you look at this palette, you'll see that Coma is probably the second darkest color. I can build up this brown. So I'm considering this to be the darkest color that gives me the most depth. And so whenever it comes to my first color, I always tend to choose like the second last deepest color in the palette and with the same brush i'm gonna slightly blend over the edges i'm taking it pretty high up on my lid but i'm still leaving some place for the other colors then i'm just taking a clean brush this is the pack 126 as you can see it's a really really small blending brush let me compare this to my normal blending brush so as you can see it's really small and sparse I'm gonna spend some time blending over the edges so basically i'm taking my brush half in and half off i probably shouldn't have set my lids but that's okay force of habit as you can see with this palette jeffrey is not playing even if you set the lids you're still going to get some intense pigmentation and that's good because uh, quite a few of you might not be comfortable not setting the lids it makes things more difficult in my opinion to blend and this color is just blending out into this beautiful lighter purple, which is just stunning if you ask me. If I blended this enough, then I could probably just leave it as is. But that's not how we do things here on this channel. So obviously I'm gonna play with a lot more colors just to show you how they look on the lid. 
and guys as always i have to keep on cutting out footage right just remember that i'll probably spend 10 minutes blending all of this out so that it looks nice and seamless so yeah now that we're starting to get a nice seamless blend i'm gonna take the pack 204 which is the larger tapered blender brush and i'll just go over the edges I'm going back in with some more coma and just focusing it a tiny bit on the inner and the outer parts of my lid. And I'm going into this color called Fresh Meat. This will go right above. I place that purple color cavity. And I'm just going in circular motions, mushing all of that together. Oh man, I cannot tell you how nice it is to play with makeup after so long. I've really missed it. Really, really missed it. Besides that, when I get cystic acne, although this breakout wasn't that bad. So I had some pizza and Diwali food, obviously around Diwali and my face my skin just can't take dairy the moment i have some dairy i break out it's not fun so yeah i've been avoiding putting makeup on my face but now that the breakout isn't active i don't mind putting on a bit of makeup and plus the breakout was pretty minor not as bad as my first bout so thank goodness for that I'm wiping my brushes down again, going in with this shade called Prick with the same brush, applying that just above. I place the two colors. Because I want this look to turn out more on the red side and less on the purple side so i'll just overdo it with this color and as you can see the color is so much darker on the lid than on the pan this typically happens with all gsc palettes and i'm not complaining what i really like about his colors are even if the color looks really light right like this color here called cake mix you won't believe how pigmented this is and how much it shows up on my eyes. Okay, now we're getting there. Things are looking nice and red. I'm going to take this and really go up. Utilize all the real estate on my lid. I mean, come on, why not? I'm going to blend like my life depends on it. Whew. Just look at this. How freaking beautiful. Just taking this and dragging this out a bit. And all of the blending I've done so far, I've done with this 126 brush from Pack. Then I'm just going to take the pink called Cavity, place that slightly above all of the other colors. And the higher I go on the lid, the amount of pigment that I'm going to put down is going to be very little because I want it more to be like this blendy wash of color, not this bright in your face color. So just a tiny bit. Take the 126 and blend again. Everything's looking really, really beautiful, but it's still looking on the purple side. So I want to correct that. I'm going to add some red right here towards the lower parts. So I think I'm going to take cherry soda right here. Same 201. And just go over all of that so that it's more red than purple. As you can see, these colors love layering together and that is something I really enjoy about GSC eyeshadows. I mean, I found my brand. This is so totally the brand that works for me. Everything about his shadows are absolute perfection. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Okay, and now I think I'm finally happy with the way everything is blended together. I'm gonna take the pack 228. This is one of my favorite brushes. 
from pack i'm gonna go into extraction and coma so extraction is right here and coma load it up on my brush and i'm gonna focus these two colors on the inner and the outer part of my lid hopefully the camera is picking up on the differences between the shades so yeah my eye is more red stroke pink and my inner and outer corners are going to be more on the burgundy side oh my goodness can you see that absolutely brilliant okay so time for me to take the darkest color that's going to give me the most depth and i'm going to use intravenous for that same brush pack 228 do not let the color in the pan fool you this can be built up to such a dark brown look at that Okay, I'm not even done with the eye look yet and I'm in love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to be playing with makeup right now. Look at that. Just look at that. And the blendability of all of these colors. I can't. Anybody else like me out there who's just like super enthusiastic and like crazy about makeup, I just love it. I love the artistry of this entire process and I've missed it so much. So let's blend around the edges just a tiny teeny bit. Let's go into Cherry Cola which is the red shade. I think I'll take the 201 for this. Layer and blend, layer and blend. And until this palette, I don't think we had like a true red out in the market, which is probably why everybody lost their shit over this palette, me included. I was there on the website waiting in line. Actually, no, I had the palette in my cart one second and the next second it was gone. The entire palette sold out in what, like 12, 13 minutes? It was absolutely crazy. And then the second time around, I was not playing. The moment it came back into stock, I was just like, fastest finger first, I'm getting myself this palette. And I did. But then I had to wait for somebody to bring it down from America because I bought it and I got it shipped there to New York. And... After having the palette, I then had to wait for an entire month to get the palette. But if you're a makeup lover, you feel me. You know that this is what we do. This is how much we love makeup. Oh man. Whew, I can't. This is too beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to cut my crease and come back. You've seen me cutting my crease so many times before, so no point wasting time doing that. I will be back when it's done. Okay, so my crease is cut and what I want to do is... I'm just gonna set around the edges before all of this cracks. Let's go in with some of the purple called Root Canal 201 brush again. I'm setting in between the concealer and the shadow. Going into this color called Prick right here. And I'm just leaving this top area a bit blank. You'll see in a second why. I'm placing the color slightly, which means that I'm stippling a bit and also blending ever so slightly. My brush is just about touching my lids. It's barely grazing my lids. Again, I'm leaving the top part a bit empty. And then I'm gonna take the shade Donor with a flat brush. I'm going to apply this to the center of the lid. I'm going to take a crown detail brush to help me along the edges. I'm 
I'm gonna blend along the edges ever so slightly. At the center, I'm gonna use the shade Sweetener with the Crown Detail Brush. This has a peach reflex to it, really pretty color. I'm gonna pop that right at the center, right here. Then I'm just gonna look at all of the eye and see if anything is missing. I feel like in between here, maybe we could have like a red to really bring that red down and make it look all cohesive. So I'm just going in with Cherry Cola again and right here, I'm gonna pop some of that red down. Oh yeah, instantly this changes a lot. It's just the color I needed. Now it's time for me to re-intensify all of the colors. One last time, give everything a good blend on the edges. All right, so let me just do my entire face and be back. Okay, so I'm back. The face is done. I just have to complete the under eye. So I'm using the LA Girl Neon Lip Liner. And I'm taking the pack 201. It has no product on it. Just whatever was left over from the eye look. I'm putting that on my lower lash line. Taking the small crown brush and going into sweetener right here in a corner. And there we go, this is the final look. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot there that you won't see here. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.